guys, Cindy here with March Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm actually doing pretty well. This is for uh, my Muse video because what I'm doing is I just, I have this urge to play in foil. Um, these are from Creative Vision and they're actually pre-printed so that you can just foil them. There is so much you can do with these, whether it's make cards, use them as backgrounds, use them as you know, a focal point, it doesn't matter. You can use these for anything. So I have a whole bunch of them here, along with Halloween and Christmas and all of that. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to get some of these foiled because there's a lot I want to do with them. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull everything out. I have my laminator here. Uh, this laminator is called a swing line. I got it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, basically, you turn it on, you wait for it to get ready. Once it's ready, you take your foil and your piece that you want to foil, put them together, and I'll show you how, and then stick them in this little piece of paper and run them through. Simple as that. So let me move this out of the way. It's not going very far because I need it. Oh, I'm going to move this over here. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> Again, these are all pre-done pre designs. I absolutely love them. I think they're wonderful. And let's go ahead. These are the small ones. They also come in other sizes. Um, here's the piece I want to foil. Let me see if I can... Let's see. Here's all the other sizes and styles they come in. I mean, there's even more from what I have here. Those are Christmas tags. Cool, huh? Um, Halloween, backgrounds, uh, leaves. Um, these are little uh, skeletons. Eat, drink, and be thankful. So these are for um, Thanksgiving. It's cold outside. A bunch of cool animals. Again, more backgrounds. These are just not cut apart. Um, this is a bunch of words. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. They're nice. They're really nice size. So you can actually do these in cards, which is really cool. And then again, more of the patterns. Okay. So let me show you real quick how to do the foiling. I'm still waiting for this to heat up. Now they, they um, do sell these in rolls. Um, this is a small one. It's called heat transfer foil. And basically what I do get enough to cover it, right? Cut it off. Now there's other ways you can do this. You can do this with like um, I'm trying to think like deco deco art paste I think it's called. Now what you're going to want to do is you are going to have this right side up and you're going to put this right side up as well. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow when the heat comes through, it's going to allow the pattern to lift up and go onto your um, ink. So it doesn't matter, it's just got to be covered. What I'll do is I'll stick it in this little piece of paper with this. This is just a piece of copy paper. That's all it is. Um, finish waiting for my laminator to get warmed up. And this will get, just so you know, very, very hot. It is hot to touch. Um, it's not going to burn me, but it is really, it's like a heating pad, you know. This is great to do on cold days. <laughs> that way my fingers get warm. Um, I've always got cold fingers, and I don't know why. Same with my feet. So let me let this warm up, and I'll be back and show you how this is done. All right, guys, so you probably can't see it. Um, this, my little red, my, my little green light is on, but it's not very bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this through there. Now this is with the um, the opening facing in, or you can do it the other way around. You can also do it, let's do it with the opening facing out. Now if you get happen to get this type of a laminator, you can see where it says letter, photo, sealed edge, uh, photo, and letter. So I just kind of stay in between. Now what you're going to notice is it's going to grab it, and what it's going to do is it's going to pull it through. It's very slow, as you can see, and basically what it's doing is it's taking that foil and heating it onto this ink. Now you can't do this on any regular printer, it has to be a laser printer. So this ink will actually, the, the foil will stick 
to this ink and not to anything else. So it's coming out the other side really slow. Okay, it's don't pull on it because if you pull on it, you'll cause problems. Now you can't just open it up and take this foil off. If you do, there's a possibility that the foil won't stick the way it should. It only takes not even how long a second. And um, the it's cool. So here it is. It's just a piece of the paper that I had with the foil. And then if you watch, when you pull the foil off, look what you get. How cool is that? And there you go. You have a foiled piece that you can use for your art. Now I think this part is really cool too. I haven't figured out yet what to do with these. I would love to be able to put this down on a piece of paper and rerun it through the heater. Um, but it would have to be like a black piece of, of printed paper. So... I think that would be really cool. Um, I think the other thing I might do with them is just cut them up and use them in my journal somewhere. I just think they're awesome. So that's how it's done. I'm going to set this aside because I keep these until I come up with that brilliant idea what to do with them. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'm just going to keep playing here. Um, I love it. Isn't that so cool? All right, so let's set that aside also. Now I have these... Um, uh, tags here. Now if you have a great big piece like one of those full sheets I would just do it on a full sheet of copy paper with another sheet over top which I think is, let me see if I can do these this way. No, I'll do these this way. So let's take our foil. Alright, we're going to need at least that much cut off. This is not an exact science. At least I don't make it an exact science because that's just crazy. Um, let me see. Put this down on here. So I'm going to need to take a good edge off. So let's take an edge off. I do it all by sight, basically. Sometimes I have issues with it, but usually not. And here we go. So same thing. I'm going to run these through the embosser, or I'm sorry, through the laminator. This won't stick to anything because there's nothing for it to stick to, so it's no big deal. You don't have to worry about getting that hot. This time, because I have these edges, I don't want it to pull. So what I'm going to do, I just want to make sure everything's covered here. It is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in back first. And we just wait until it grabs it. And let it go. Let it do its thing. I'll show you this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward so I can play. And, um, black reactive foil, huh? Um, I'm going to play with my foil here. I don't have a whole lot of foil. I only have, um, some, like, this is what I have. I have the gold or copper, whatever you want to call that. I have the multicolor. I have silver. I have turquoise. Um, this I'm not quite sure if it's... A, yeah, it's got to be the same foil. This is a Heidi Swap black. I have the turquoise and then I have this. So that's the colors I'm going to play with right now. I actually think... This is all done, so we'll just sit here for a second. I also have these foils. These I've had for a long, long time. And... Um, I think I can use those. So I'm going to try it. I have a few different patterns in here, a few different colors. Um, you know, let's see what they do. Blues and coppers and whatever. So I'm going to try these. All right, so here it is. We let it um, cool. It's very cool. I'm just going to open it up, take out my sheet. Here it is. And then we're just going to slowly pull it off. Look how amazing they are. See it? So cool. Done in turquoise. I like that. All right. So let me go ahead and keep on playing. And then I will chat with you at the end and show you everything I've done. Enjoy.
guys, so I had a blast playing with this stuff. Um, I've got quite a few really cool pieces. Um, and this is on quite a tough cardstock. It's a hard. It's not a real light paper. Um, so just to show you some of the things that I played around with. Um, I absolutely love, love, love uh, this set of foil. Look what I have under there. I have red. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. But yeah, I absolutely love this type of foil. It's phenomenal. Um, I got my to and from. These are done in a blue. A few more like backgroundish things. These I did uh, last time I was playing around with it. Some of these. These animals. I absolutely love these animals. I think these are so cool and they're going to be great in journal pages. Again, more backgrounds. These are some that I did last time. Um, last time this was a, a thing of a thing of leaves that I did last time that's really cool uh, more leaves these are all done in purple okay and then we get into these now these two that I just did I was just playing around to see what I could do with the leftover foils and I actually kind of like it um, there's a little bit of silver there's a little bit of tricolor there's pieces here where it's part silver part tricolor which I think is cool um, yeah so I was playing around with that animals love them fabulous I gotta use I gotta cut them up so I can use them um, this was done just on the silver which I thought was really cool Halloween I did the same thing here it's turquoise on top silver on the bottom and these are all purple Nobody says it has to all be the same color. Baby, it's cold outside. That's done in blue. These, I think, are really pretty. And this is for, like, a Thanksgiving. Um, and these will make great cards. See the copper? It's all done in copper. So that's cool. Purple. Uh, these I love. Uh, this one's done in blue. And I've got, has anyone seen my mojo? Be bold and you will create your wildest dreams. Just get inky. Life is short. Skip work and stay home and craft. I like that one. Um, again, more backgrounds. This is done in the the um, rainbow color. Same here, rainbow color. All right. So now, um, like I said, these are going to be used for cards, for backgrounds, for pieces. I mean, I'll end up taking out some and. Um, you know cutting them up God only knows for what but I wanted to share with this with you guys I think I shared it last year but <clears throat> I just want you to um, realize what that foil can actually do and what it can do for you I'm sure you're gonna see these coming up in one of my you know videos because I do want to use these and I really enjoy it I will put the link to creative visions in the um, description box below and just so you know these like these foilables um, this one it says Halloween 8 set of four and it's only five bucks so I didn't think that was too bad um, again five dollars let me see these little ones this is what I paid for them I don't know if the prices are still the same you're gonna have to look on the website um, these are the six, uh, four by five and a half, which is three fifty. I mean, I didn't think that was bad. And there's so many really cool patterns that I just love to use them. Let me see how much the big ones were. Come here. Um, a big one, uh, five bucks. So, and you get four sheets, four eight and a half by eleven sheets. So I don't think that's bad. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in um, the box below. And as always, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.